even in business, emotions should play an important role in a pitch? Well, a pitch really is not a transfer of information. People think it is, but they're wrong. What it is, is a transfer of power. If you're interviewing me for a job, effectively, you've got the power to offer that to me or not. And what I want to do is to kind of magnetize that power from you to me. So simply telling you a lot of information is very unlikely to achieve that. What I need to do is to say things or behave in a way which makes you feel, I really want this guy on our team. Things are going to be better with him. It's going to be different. And that is partly to do with logic, of course. Um, but it's, it's also, but I think it's more to do with emotion. And I have a very good example of that. I saw a CV a while ago of a guy who just left university. Uh, he had a first in filmmaking and he wanted a job as a filmmaker. Um, and he'd written a CV. And the temptation would be to boast about his degree and say, you know, I've got a first in filmmaking at a good university. This is the fact which should encourage you to want me. Um, he completely ignored that because he figured that actually a real filmmaker wouldn't give much of a stuff, frankly, what his degree was. Uh, and the CV just said, I've got no knowledge or experience of this subject whatsoever, but I will work very hard for very little money and I'll make a blinding cup of tea. Now, any employer reading that is going to kind of fall in love with this guy because he knows he's honest about the fact that he's a beginner and he can offer virtually nothing in terms of knowledge or experience. But what he can offer is passion and enthusiasm and a willingness to work hard. Um, and that was a while ago, but that guy is now a successful film director. <laughs>